But now I'm busting up my timeline in little increments to try to uh, do it on um, uh, express burn to try to get it to stop at individual parts. If I make them individual files, it might do that. I'm not sure if it will. But what I'm doing now is I'm just changing this count over here. This is what it, it's, these are the numbers on the top of the timeline, and I have markers set at certain spots. And the last one I did was from six to seven. So now I got to do from seven to eight. So I just click down this. Move this to 8, move this to 7, and then hit Create File. And then I'm going to change this down here to uh, 7 to 8. And then hit Save. Start um, rendering the files in that area and then write them to frame. Now I'm going to open up Express Burn and then I'm going to add the files over here. I go and click on it up top left and then I'm going to go to my thing which I already have, my videos, McDonald's, a new film, five pieces. This are all the pieces here and so I'm going to click on the first one, slide it on down, click shift and the last one and hit open. Now it's loading them all up here. And double check to make sure they're all in the right order. And they're not. So I gotta move some of them to the right order. 1, 2 is right, then 10, 11. 11, 12. And 15 to the end. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, they're all right. Now I got to put a disc in my uh, computer here. Just a writable disc. Close it up. And then I have to wait for this part here to say disc in the drive or whatever. So far, my movie says 132.07. I added a, a countdown at the beginning. Um, it's going to give me this little window here, which of course I'm just going to exit out of. And now it says free space, whatever, so I'm ready to go. Everything's ready to go. I just come over, push the button here with my mouse, burn video. It's going to give me all this other stuff. Verify burning after it's correct. I guess. Okay. Hit burn right here. Now I just wait. When it's all done, the disc will pop out.